Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to show you how you can install the DB browser for SQL Lite in Ubuntu 20.04. So let's get started. So to install SQL Lite browser or the DB browser, you need SQL Lite. So let's start off by installing SQL Lite onto our Ubuntu installation. So open up a terminal and the very first command that you want to run is sudo apt-get update so that the apt packages are up to date. After that, simply type in the password for the root user and then hit enter. Once that is done, we can install the SQLite by simply typing in the command sudo apt-get install SQLite 3 and then hit enter. Now this is going to install SQLite 3 onto my Ubuntu installation. Now once that is done, we can now install SQLite browser. Now there are two ways of installing the SQLite browser. One is by using the apt command and the other one is using the snap command or the snap store if you are running a minimal version of Ubuntu. But since we are not running the minimal version of Ubuntu, we are just going to go with the apt commands. And if you want to still check out the commands for snap store or the snap command, then you can check the link in the description box which will take you to the blog post. And this blog post also contains all of the commands that I will be using in this tutorial. Now to install the SQLite browser with the apt command or with the official Ubuntu repository, simply type in the command sudo apt-get install SQLite browser. After that, simply hit enter. And if you are prompted, simply type yes and then hit enter once more. While it is installing, if you want to install SQLite on cloud hosted platforms such as Google Cloud, Amazon or Azure, then simply check out the videos in the links in the description box. Now once that is done, we can find the DB browser if you open up application and search for DB browser. This is our application. But instead of using it right away, what we are going to do is that we are going to use SQLite 3 to create a database. So simply type in the command SQLite 3 and the name of the database which is going to be myhome.db and then hit enter. So now we have created our database and now we are inside the SQLite shell. Now within this database we are going to create a table and insert some data using the commands in the blog post. Now as you can see that we have our database onto the desktop and we have inserted some data inside this database. Now let's start up SQLite browser. So we can exit from this shell of SQLite. And we can open up the DB browser by heading inside the applications and opening up DB browser from there. Or if you want to open it up from the terminal, then simply open up a new terminal and simply type in SQLite browser and then hit enter. This is going to open up the same application again. Now let's try and open up the database that we have just created onto our desktop. So simply click on this option that says open database and then let's head on over to desktop and select myhome.db. So this is our database. So we have a table named as furniture and within this table we have id, name, furniture type and material. So right over here we have the database structure and if we want to browse the data we can simply shift over to the browse data tab and we can see the data inside this database or inside this table. Now if you want to create a new record within this database with the help of the SQLite browser or the DB browser then simply click on this new record button and then simply type in the details that you want to type. For the furniture type I'm just going to type something like and then click on apply and for the filter I'm also going to type in the plywood and then to save it again click on apply. So this is how you can add in records onto your table. Similarly if you want to delete a record simply select a record and simply click on this button that says delete a record. This is going to delete an entire row from the database. Now if you want to create a database but you do not want to do it from the terminal rather you want to do it with the db browser then simply click on this button that says new database after that choose the location where you want to store the database so i'm just going to store it at the desktop and then provide a name right over here so i'm just going to call this one as new test db then make sure to type the extension as dot db and then hit enter after that it is going to create the database and it is going to ask us for the first table name so I'm just going to call this table as table1 and then we can add in the fields of that table. So we can add the first field as id and set its type to integer then add another field call it name set its type to text and once we are done we can simply click on this ok button that would create a database with the table and if you want to verify that we can simply come over to the database structure. Anyways that was how to install and use DB browser for SQLite in Ubuntu 20.04. Now if you want to install or set up SQLite for cloud hosted platforms such as Google Cloud, Azure and Amazon then simply check out the videos linked in the description box. And if you have any queries regarding this tutorial make sure to leave that query in the comment section down below and we will get to you as soon as possible. And finally, if this video has helped you in any way, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.